no matter what way you slice it, Rust is a very, very tricky game. Sometimes, even something as simple as getting to outpost at the beginning of a wipe can feel like the mother of all challenges. And when you start throwing in things like oil rigs or raiding that toxic neighbour you've had for the entire wipe, it can feel like you're trying to complete an impossible task. But another joy of Rust is the modded servers. These are the spots where you can go and get gear relatively easy to get your practice in. And this is something that I wanted to explore today. So let's dive in and see how I got on, shall we? So here's the thing. I'm running around on this Rustoria 5X and I figured there's stuff everywhere. I mean, I've only been on the server about 15 minutes and I've got all this already, plus a mini. What kind of challenge can I do? I haven't got a base yet. I think what I'm gonna do is give myself a time limit. As you can see, I've got like 50 X blow, but I've got no boom. I've got no base, no materials, don't even have a building plan on hammer. So I think what I'm gonna do is give myself, let's say 30 minutes to find some boom and successfully raid into a base. And if that goes well, then we depot everything that we have in that base that we raid into and we start again with nothing, fresh spawn and try and do it again. A fun little challenge for myself and it'll hopefully help me improve my, uh, my raiding skills a little bit as well. So what I've done is this marker just here is a base that I've seen that's worth raiding, I think. We're gonna head out to rig, try and get some boom and then go and try and raid it. So let me start this timer. Right, we're officially on the clock. I did have a failed rig run earlier as well, so if I'm really lucky, then my, my bag might still be out. It didn't have anything on it, just guns and stuff, but you never know. I might get lucky. Scientist. Oh, there's a mini there. Does that mean there's someone else already here? I don't see any scientists. Oh, no, I do. I see one on the top. One. Yeah, no, I see scientists. Okay. I don't want to do the whole thing with the heavies. I just want to get to the point where I can get into the card room, you know? get the elite crates because I'm hoping that if I'm lucky they're going to have some boom in them. Let's get down. Let's just hope these scientists don't wreck me. Oh. Shit, 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 shit. Missed the bloody, missed the bloody platform. What is going on there? That was terrible. Even by my standards. Jesus Christ. How did I miss the platform? Jesus. Give the bleed in a minute to pass. Right, let's try that again. Start, but still. Just trying to attract as many of them as I can up here, I think. No boom. Jesus Christ. Right, so we don't have any boom. I was hoping there was going to be some boom in that. I'm not looking to get caught out by any... Oh, these rooms are open. No. What's a guy got to do to get a little bit of boom? I'm running after some satchels or something. Gee. There's normally a green crate back here as well, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. No. Right. Well, this obviously isn't the one, is it? Rig isn't the one. At least without a green card, it's not. Uh, without a red card, it's not. Right. Where's the next best place to get boom? Go to outpost and recycle. Maybe try and hit the elite crates on top of, like, dome or sewer branch, maybe? If there's some there. Saying that, Dime has a recycler in it on here, doesn't it? Maybe we'll just go straight there. The hard thing about this first one is going to be the fact that I'm having to run around with everything on me. Where's Sewer Branch? 
can sort of run from it. Oh, past it. Outpost, recycle, dome, hopefully some boom. Oh. No. That's alright. We can buy another one. Well, we've got a bluey. We'll go and get another mini. Did that one explode? It did, didn't it? Yeah. We'll go and get another mini. Alright, so let's go to dome. Loot those boxes. See where we stand from there. There's gotta be there's gotta be some satchel somewhere. I don't need a lot. So we're nearly halfway there. And although we've got guns, the one thing that we actually wanted, the boom, is the thing that's been the most elusive. Maybe I should have got more scrap and gone and got a red card, maybe. Is there any crates on top of dome? Oh, is there no crates there? Oh no, there is. Yes, see, that's what I'm talking about. Five satchels, first crate. Uh, we need another, like... Uh, oh, launcher. Is that HVs? Yeah. So we've got a launcher and some HVs. We'll take the MP5 and that as well. What else is round here? Where else can we go? Just keep looking, I suppose. Keep hunting. Five satchels is a start though, and it's not a bad start. What am I saying? That there's a little there's a little base there I could raid. That's that can't be more than if it's two doors. That's what eight satchels. Okay, let's go and have a look at this little base that's over here. Then. I mean, it's not going to be for profit, but we're running out of time. That being said, I've got a little. Oh, I've got a stack of expo as well. Yeah, let's just let's just do this. Um, that was the quickest satchel of all time. Okay, 19 minutes. <sighs> it's not bad. Oh, we've got some guns. Okay. It's not bad. That's not bad. Well, that's something. That's the first one done. And we did it in 20 minutes. Say 19 minutes something. It's not too bad, is it? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one gun, one stack of meds, and then start from scratch. No explo, no SAR, just something basic. A gun with one clip in it and that. That seems like a fair thing, yeah, because I've got the mini. That seems like a fair compromise. So we'll lock this up. I call the whole thing, draw on a lock, and then we'll just leave it. They can't get back in. I don't want to get back in. Got a day's worth of upkeep on it. And that'll be that. Yeah, that seems fair. Let me take the mini. And we start from scratch. So let's restart the clock. Clock's running again. So we're starting from scratch. We've got nothing now. Just one gun with one clip and some meds. So I reckon a good place to start would be sewer branch, maybe. There's normally some like elite crates there. Let's have a look in water treatment as well while we're here. No elites, but... Some stuff still. Oh no, there is one there. No burn. Got a little bit of explo. That's a start. That is a start. It's not the best start, but it's not the worst. There's no crates in there, is there? No. <gasps> oh, supply signal. Seven satchels and a supply signal. Get out of here. That's. Oh, there's no way. Right, what do I. Um, where do I take that supply signal? Take it out into the middle of nowhere, I suppose, isn't I? Seven satchels as well. Maybe that's enough. Maybe that's enough to do that base I was looking at. 
Um, let's go sewer first because we're here. We can always add more. Now the question is, can I land on top of sewer without getting stuck? Because I suck at parkour. Please be gentle, be gentle. Don't get stuck. Oh, that might well be stuck. Another seven satchels. Come on now. Right, okay. Let's go and raid this level base. We're only five minutes in as well. This is big. Oh. Yeah, this is it. doors inside this one. Oh, come on. Right, have I got anything to shoot this explode with? I haven't, have I? Yeah. So I need enough to get through 110. I've got enough explode to do it, I think. I just need a gun. I need a SAR or something. Oh, look at that. Scripted content, anyone? Oh, am I just back down to regular ammo right now? Yeah, right, I need to go and find something more that goes... Something else that goes boom. Let's put... I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's throw the supply signal here. And we've got eight minutes. Let's see what else we can find in the meantime. Where is he? There he is. Of course I fell in the compound. Hello? I fell in your compound by accident and I need to get out. Is there any way you can let me out? No way that was him. No way that was him. Right, so we've lost the mini. And we've annoyed the neighbour. It's going to be an interesting few minutes. Five minutes until this time is done. I don't even know if the supply signal is going to fall that quick. Let's go at the top of this real quick. At least then we can keep an eye on whether homeboy's coming back or not. I'm not saying that. This is by the time I do that, this is going to be down. Right. Come on, please have some boom in it. If this doesn't have any boom in it, I'm screwed. Three and three minutes. Oh shit. Shit. What is he shooting with? something to make a lock with man uh wood 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 god this place is stacked I just need a little bit of wood oh secure right i need more doors i need a lot more doors Um. 
Oh, God. That was something. That was really something. There's quite a lot of profit in that, I think, as well. Now, what are the chances that I'm getting door camped? I'd say they're probably pretty high. Now, as a rule, I wasn't putting bags in bases, but I'm going to put one in this because I feel like I'm getting door camped. Base two. Well, that raid was worth it. Very, very much worth it. Um, I need to move the TC as well, really, I suppose. Although, if I'm not keeping... Yeah. I do want... I do kind of want to keep it. Just... Should I try and ride the, ride the guy up the hill? He doesn't look like he's that good at the game. He doesn't look like he's as good as most others that are on this server. Um, should we go and see... Before we start the clock up again... Should we go and see what's happening with Homeboy up on the hill? Might be fun to screw with him for a little while. Get some ladders and climb into his compound or something and see what's going on. Deliberately haven't bought a lot of ammo with me just because I want to just want to see what's going on, see if he's worth screwing with. If he's really good at the game, then I won't bother, but there's three supply signals up there as well. He's the one with the fucking... Oh, he's going to get it. So he's put landmines up all around his base. I don't know where all the landmines are. I want to get those ladders. But I have no idea, literally no idea where the landmines are. What is he doing? Where the fuck do all these landmines keep coming from? the best way into Iraq. I mean he's put fucking landmines everywhere. It's so annoying. He's got wood frames on his doors. Are you ready to see me fumble this in the most heroic way possible? He's putting watchtowers up everywhere. What? What is this? Why is everything on tin on twig frames? What is it? This is the weirdest base. Oh shit. There's two of them in there. Let's see what they add. A little bit of ammo. Nothing. Not a few guns, but nothing really worth shouting about there. Oh, hello. Um. 
might as well let them have this back, I I mean, they couldn't even fly the Mini. I think that's how much they were struggling. Why is this all so open? I feel kind of bad. These guys must be like day one players. You know? Fucking hell, Eva. Just want to get my stuff out, that's all. I think we've got three raids in. I know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little break, go and get some lunch, and then we'll finish this up when I come back. Maybe do another one of those 20 minute start to finish things. So we've got this first coffin that's got lots of comps, meds, some handguns, some bits and pieces, some GP, some explosives and whatever. Then this one, which is absolutely full of guns and a little bit of ammo. We've got 20 satchel 5 rockets left. Then we've got everything else that's in here. Some more comps, meds and whatever. I haven't organised it just because there's no point. Because when I get back in, I'll be taking one gun and one stick of ammo and going off to find a new base to raid raided our way into this one, raided our way into the other one. I don't know if there's any other bases that I am aware of that are online that are worth raiding. We'll see. The timer starts again as soon as we get back in, so... Now, unfortunately, a lot of my footage from that afternoon somehow ended up corrupted, but I did manage to salvage some. It hasn't got any of my voice recording in it, but it's a 30-minute raid start to finish. So let's have a look at that as well. 